President Emerson Nangakwa's government has kept Zimbabweans guessing about the current health condition of the ailing Vice President, General Contantino Chiwanga who is on a medical pilgrimage in China. Zimbabweans have been forced to rely on media and speculations about their status, and the impending return of the once powerful general. Political analysts who spoke to this publication said the government was not doing justice to the people of Zimbabwe who are entitled to know about the health status of their vice president who feeds on taxpayers' money. Constitutional lawyer Shefford Tubes said, Nangagwa's silence on the health of the general is a travesty to the trust that the people of Zimbabwe should have on their government. The vice president is an employee of the state and is paid, though the money that is heavily taxed from the people, so they have a right to know how he is doing. You cannot have someone who is sick for the whole year and fails to perform his duties and yet you are not updated about his status while you are paying him every month. If there was a time that this government must show that it cares for its people it is now, they must declare and be transparent. But well, these are the same people who lied about the money that China gave to Zimbabwe, so we know that they can never be trusted. South African-based political analyst Kelvin Mazhandu said Nangakwa must heed to the calls of the people and remove Chiwanga due to incapacitation. President Nangakwa must not be fearful of removing his ailing deputy who can perform duties, Mazhandu said. He has the constitutional powers to remove him and remain with either one vice president or appoint another in his place. ZANU PF is going to the conference in Goromonzi this December. The party must appoint a new healthy person. We cannot have a person who is salaried for merely sleeping at a hospital bed. Dot Professor Jonathan Moyo recently said Nangakwa had approached Joyce Mujuru to replace Chiwanga, 